Welcome on this uh, very windy Palm Sunday as we begin Holy Week. Um, we are still getting everything set up, so just hang on, um, but join us. Our kids have a great program for us to help us meet some of the characters of Holy Week, and we would love for you to participate with us. Um, so just hang on, and we will start in a few minutes. Good morning. Isn't this exciting to be here? Good morning. It is. Good morning and welcome to Parkway Hills on this nice sunny Sunday, Palm Sunday. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're here worshiping with us. And we are glad you are alive with us today. Uh, we hope you're there. And we can't see you, but we know you can see us. So welcome as well. Uh, we want all the kids to join. John, right down for the palms. So head up there. Head that way. Hey, say it again, Phil. We want all the kids, 21 and under, to go <laughs> see Palm Dawn, Palm, Palm Dawn, Dawn, over here. Come this way. No, I'll be bashful. I know you're not. Yeah, stay over there. Stay over there with them. But we're glad you are here with us in person and on live uh, in person on this, on this beautiful Sunday morning. We're thankful for our children who will be presenting the service today. You're in for a real treat, and this truly is a day that the Lord has made. So we're glad you're here. Just a few reminders to keep your masks on while you're up and about. Um, you may sing along with some of the hymns. Um, the bathrooms are single occupancy. There's a door, to, a sign on the door to flip over and you know, back and forth. So we uh, want you to. You also have received the Holy Week schedule in the mail. So if you did not or cannot find it, we'll get one to you. But this tells you everything that is going on this week that you want to be a part, part of, uh, especially Saturdays. Holy Mischief Day, Saturday morning, uh, uh, April 3rd. So, but look at, the, take a look at this. If you have any questions, call us at the office, but be a part of the activities this week, this Holy Week, as we lead up to Easter. But now, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship. Let's clap our hands and shout with joy because God is great, strong King. Blow this trumpet for our King. God is King of all the earth. Let's celebrate with songs.
Let us pray. We gather together waving palms of joy, waving branches of peace, eager to see Jesus, anxious for his healing touch, hoping to receive a blessing. We gather together waving palms of joy, waving palms of praise, longing to know abiding peace in the midst of pressing worry and hurry, longing to be accepted for who we are instead of being judged, not being or doing enough. We gather together waving palms of joy, waving branches of peace, hoping we are ready to walk with Jesus through the night of anguish, the morning of accusations, the noon of despair, the hours of darkness. We gather together waving palms of joy, waving branches of prayer, walking toward Easter. Amen. I tried to make him understand that what he was facing was bad, but he stayed calm. The crowd was not calm. They were loud and they wanted Jesus to pay. I let them choose a prisoner to release, which is the custom. They chose, they could choose this or 
this Jesus or Bar Barabbas? They chose Barabbas. Jesus was not released, but was condemned to death. I did not have a good feeling about any of it. Pilate's wife. I had a dream that made me believe Jesus was innocent and that should be released. I begged, I begged Pilate to have nothing to do with this. alabaster jar of very costly perfume and I anointed his head. Some around me were angry, but Jesus said I was preparing him for burial and that my story would be told wherever the good news was shared. My name is Barabbas. The cloud 
I was in the crowd as Jesus carried his cross. All of a sudden I heard my name, Simon of Cyrene, carry his cross. I picked up the cross and carried it for Jesus. We have never seen such a crowd. Who is this man? Jesus. I don't think I really understand Jesus. I was ready for him to do something, to act, to deliver. So I pushed the envelope. I went to the chief priest and made a bargain for 30 pieces of silver to turn him over. I led them to Jesus in the garden of 
Gethsemane while he was praying. I kissed him to let them know who he was. Who he was. You will not believe what happened next. It was something I could not live with. disciple of Jesus. Jesus always said some strange things, but while we were sharing the Passover meal, he said the strangest of all. He said we would all leave him. I said I wouldn't, but he told me that very night I would deny him three times. That night, while he was praying, he was arrested, taken away. It all happened so fast, I tried to follow close behind, but it was scary. But I was scared. I heard someone say, hey, aren't you one of his disciples? I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what to do. So I said no, not once, not twice, but three times. I said I did not know Jesus. Holy Week is a roller coaster ride of activity and emotions. It is a week that begins with so much energy and excitement and joy, and it ends with such sadness and hopelessness. But then Sunday comes and hope springs to life. Join me in singing through the story of Jesus with Lord of the Dance found in your book. for 
for joining us, for coming out for this time, for, for kind of walking this past year with us with so many changes, um, so many different ways to worship, um, so many obstacles to deal with um, from wind and rain and all the other things. But I appreciate you being here. It was great to see all of our children. I know it's easy when we get to Holy Week um, sometimes to strictly want to jump to Easter Day and to make the whole story kind of lean on Jesus' resurrection, which is great. But what I love about today is our children reminded us that what Holy Week gives us in the accounts found in the Gospels is not just the story of Jesus, but the story of all these real people who met Jesus, who encountered Jesus, who experienced Jesus in different ways, who were struggling to understand God, struggling to understand Jesus, struggling to figure out how they were even supposed to be um, in the midst of that. So I hope that's part of the story, not that you, that you just walk away with today, but that you carry through this Holy Week. We do come and grieve at the cross on Good Friday, and we come and celebrate the resurrection Easter Day, but we also remember a week that tells us that we believe in a God who meets us as we are, where we are, with all of our questions and doubts and struggles and imperfections, with all of our high expectations, all of our beliefs of how things should be and how things should work, that God just meets us there and walks with us. So I hope that's part of the story that you receive today. And we'll hold each other in prayer as we faithfully walk through this Holy Week, as we still seek to encounter and meet the risen Christ. I want to close in prayer um, knowing that there's still a lot of heaviness um, that people hold. There are joys to celebrate. I see some new babies among us. Um, and Melody, it's great to have you here with us. Um, Tiffany, we remember Michael and are praying for him. I know there's lots to celebrate, um, lots to also hold in prayer. So let us go to God in prayer together. Let us pray. God, as we enter into this holy week, a week that makes its place in our lives every year, we ask that you do indeed um, Help us create space to simply remember the story. To meet the characters that are part of our faith family. To learn from their own stories. And to encounter Jesus. Love incarnate. Emmanuel, God with us. Walking and living and moving among us. Help us to come to the cross on Good Friday, carrying and holding all the brokenness and pain that we know exists, that we know we carry. Help us to come and bring it to you so that we can faithfully celebrate the resurrection come Easter Day and step with hope into the newness that your grace and your love and your mercy provides. We pray for those within our church family that we hold in love, hold in love deep in our hearts. We pray for those who are sick and in need of healing. We pray for those who are struggling with illness, with mental, mental anxiety. God, may you enter in the way that only you can. God, we celebrate and give thanks for all the blessings and joys that we have received. We know that in love, you hear and receive our prayers. We lift all of this in the name of your Son, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
everyone who joined us online as well. And I want to invite everyone in the area to um, take time to visit our website and make sure you know all that is happening during Holy Week that you can be a part of and join us for that. And then we'll see you Easter Sunday either inside at 830, you must RSVP, or outside at 10. And Easter Day right now looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So it will be great to gather on the lawn with you. Um, Cynthia, do you have anything I need to say? Okay, so you just want, is there a place you want them to go? Okay, all right, so our Easter egg hunt is immediately following, so stay where you are. Um, if you are coming to participate in that, we do have the Easter Bunny showing up in a way to safely, socially distance and take pictures. But now I invite you to join with me in our closing prayer. It's found in your bulletin. Let us say these words together. Gracious God, as we enter this holy week, Help us to move beyond the festive parade of palms and to follow Jesus into the way of the cross, that united with him and all the faithful, we may one day enter through the gates of righteousness into the eternal city, the new Jerusalem, where we may praise you with Christ and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Let us go forth to love and serve our Lord. Amen.